is how we do. Aye, let's get started. Garlic, half. Carrots, roughly cut. To cut carrots, just let the knife do the work and it's easy. Of boiling water, add white vinegar. Be warned, there's some kill in here. Find the cross on top of the lobster's head. Stick your knife right through swiftly. Swift kill, humanely. In a pot, place the lobster right in. It looks like the lobster's still alive, but that's just the reaction from the muscles from the shock. From there, add your boiling water vinegar mixture. The vinegar helps release the meat from the shell when you need to pull it apart. Quickly put a lid over and let sit for 90 seconds. Now we're gonna learn how to remove the meat right out from the lobster's shell. For the two arms, grab, twist, and pull, and it'll just snap right off from the joints. Now, for the head, grab firmly and the tail, twist, and just gently pull the tail out from the head. Next, for the eight legs, just twist and pluck them out one by one. Once you feel it, it's light work from there. Now this is important. Grab the green pouch and gently pull it out. That's the shit sack. If you've never done that, you've been eating shit all day. Next, crack the tail. Get a pair of scissors and just trim along the outer rim of the belly. Peel back the belly shell exposing the roast royce of this lobster gently pull the meat out of the shell once you get to the end just give it a little wiggle and the whole piece should just come out beautifully for the legs you just want to snip the two ends of the legs and get a rolling pin and just roll all that meat out no waste for the claw, just twist and pull as usual from the knuckle. If it doesn't come out, use a pair of scissors and snip it out. Same goes for any parts of the joints. A pair of scissors is your best friend with this lobster. Cut open the shell and from there, just gently pull the meat right out of the shell. And there you got the arm. Cut open the knuckle. Again, crack it open and just gently remove the meat from the shell. At first, it might seem very intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, you understand. You remove the joints, you cut open the shell, and with all that gentleness, pull the meat out. The key is not to be rough when you remove the flesh, otherwise everything's just gonna come out not nicely. For the claw, place a cloth over, use the back of your knife and just smack it down and crack all that open. First, grab the small pincer, wiggle it, twist it, crack it and pull it out. And then, as gentle as you can, remove the shell and you have one pincer. Crack open the whole claw and to remove the whole thing, wiggle it and just gently pull it out and there you have it one beautiful claw same thing goes to the other claw breaking down a lobster is a very delicate piece of work you killed it so give it the utmost respect make love to it and don't fuck it and once you got everything removed you got the head, you got the tail, you got the arms, you got the knuckles, you got the claws, and you got all eight legs. Absolutely no waste. When I say no waste, I mean it in a wok under a pan. Get all your shells, cut it all up, and throw it in, and we're gonna saute it on high heat. We're gonna extract those flavors. The shells actually give the most intense lobster flavor in everything. From there, add your cut carrots, mix it all around, and we wanna cook this out. The more caramelization you get into the carrots and the shells, the more flavor is gonna come out. Add your half garlic, a tablespoon of tomato paste, 
fresh grape tomatoes and we're just gonna marry all those flavors together to finish top it off with some chicken stock halfway then fresh water to cover everything we've ultimately made a lobster stock so bring the liquid up to a boil then bring it down to a simmer and simmer for 45 minutes for the flavors to infuse after 45 minutes the shells have done its job remove the shells keep all the vegetables in the stock and with a hand blender or a regular blender just blitz everything together it's gonna thicken up into a nice sauce it could be a soup it could be a sauce your choice season with salt and black pepper finish with a touch of milk and it just brings everything into a velvety smooth liquid now for the butter sauce add water to the bottom of the pot add a knob of butter and start whisking on a low heat and you keep doing this add knob by knob by knob of butter and keep whisking consistently until you get a smooth velvety butter sauce and there you go that is the texture that you're looking for get it on a super low simmer and add your lobster tail first and just let it gently poach in that liquid then your claws along with the arm and the knuckles make sure the butter liquid is poaching the lobster on a very very low heat you want to cook the lobster meat low and slow halfway through you want to flip everything over so it gets to cook on both sides the gentler the lower the heat the more tender your lobster meat is going to come out and infuse with all that butter sauce right into the flesh while you eat it first remove the arms and the knuckles then the claws because that takes less time to cook than that big piece of lobster tail and from there we're gonna quickly flash the lobster legs into the poaching liquid this takes no time quickly remove the freaking legs out of the butter and from there the lobster tail should just be about ready for us to take out flip the lobster on its belly while basting the top for the final touches and remove from the butter for the exciting part before we even start plating we're gonna not waste that butter sauce we're just gonna drench every part of the meat in that sauce all right let's begin here pour that beautiful lobster sauce that you made from making a stock and blitz and everything up that's hard work there into the center of the plate and just distribute it all around the plate so you get a nice base and a foundation to start with first the lobster tail onto the plate onto the center but offset it a little bit so it comes down a little bit on the plate then you get your arms then the knuckles and after that you add the two claws and yes as you would have guessed we're refiguring the lobster onto the plate but present it as the meat if you're gonna impress someone this is the dish you want to make and of course don't forget those eight little legs every part of that lobster counts we've given it the respect we've used the shells we used every single meat that ever existed in that lobster now to finish with the garnish get a shiso leaf roll it right up like a blunt and just thinly slice it with a knife form the shiso into a ball and just place it on top of your lobster and there you have it butter poached lobster 
in its own lobster bisque per se. Done. To serve, get a bowl and get all that butter sauce that's been poaching the lobster. So it's got that lobster flavor in the butter as well. And use it as a dipping sauce. And just look at that. I can just fuck off to heaven with this. Fucking delicious. If you're new, hit like and subscribe if you've been here before. Welcome back. <laughs>